In today's episode, you'll learn how to make an advanced security system and send the security alert message to multiple numbers using Arduino and a GSM SIM 900A module. For the demonstration purposes, I'll be using an LGR which makes this project is the laser security system. But if you want, you can also replace the LGR with a PIR sensor or a magnetic read switch sensor or a limit switch and so on. You can also use multiple sensors. This is basically the second version of the GSM laser security system in which I use the LDR sensor for the intruder detection and I use the same GSM SIM 900A module. As you can see, in this project the security alert message is only sent to a number. But in many situations we need to send the same security alert message to multiple numbers. So this episode is all about how to write a very simple program and how to connect all the components together to make the advanced security system. In this tutorial we will cover number 1 GSM SIM 900 a module pinout explanation. Number 2 complete circuit diagram. Number 3 programming and finally number 4 testing. Let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the GSM SIM 900A module. In the market, we have different types of GSM modules. The one I'll be using today is SIM 900A. If you want, you can also use any other GSM module, like for example SIM 900D. I have also tested the same program using SIM 900D, but with a different power trade. The rest of the program remains the same. If you are from Pakistan, Bangladesh or India, make sure you double check the GSM module and purchase the unlocked version of the SIM 900A module. This GSM SIM 900A module, as you can see on the screen, has no onboard voltage regulator. So be very careful while applying the voltage. Ideal voltage for this GSM module is 4.7 volts, but you can also connect it with a 5 volt adopter. If you don't have a 5 volt adopter, then you can make your own power supply using LM3170 adjustable variable voltage regulator. I have a very detailed tutorial on LM3170 explaining everything. I will provide a link in the description if in case you want to watch this tutorial. As you can see clearly in the picture this module has so many pins which are clearly labeled but we will be using only 5 of these pins. The power supply pins, ground, RXD 5V and TXD 5V. The ground will be connected with the Arduino's ground TXT will be connected with the Arduino spin number 7 and RXT will be connected with the Arduino spin number 8. This schematic is designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make schematic and PCB, then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. TX of the SIM 900A is connected with pin number 7 of the Arduino. The RX pin of the SIM 900A module is connected with pin number 8 of the Arduino and ground is connected with the Arduino's ground. A power supply is connected with the SIM 900A module. Ideal voltage is 4.7 to 5 volt is already explained. An LGR is connected in series with a 10K resistor which makes a voltage divider circuit. As you know an LGR is basically a variable resistor whose resistance changes with the amount of light falling on the LDR. So a change in resistance will result in a change in voltage. This change in voltage can be monitored using the analog pin A1 of the Arduino. All the components are interfaced as per the circuit diagram. This is the LDR circuit. As you can see, an LDR is connected in series with a 10K resistor. A wire from the middle of the LDR and 10K resistor is connected with the analog pin A1 of the Arduino. The GSM SIM 900A module, TXD and RXD pins are connected with the Arduino's pin number 7 and pin number 8. And make sure you connect the ground of the GSM module with the ground of the Arduino. This GSM module will be powered up 
using this regulated 5 volt power supply. Now let's discuss the Arduino programming. We start by adding hash include software serial dot h. Hash means that this is a preprocessor directive and dot h means that this is a header file. The software serial library is used for creating serial ports. As you know in Arduino we have only one serial port which is on pin number 0 and pin number 1. The Arduino's default serial port will be used for the debugging purposes. Now the question is if we are using the Arduino's default serial port for the debugging purposes then how we will connect the GSM module. Well no worries at all we can define another serial port. I defined a serial port with the name SIM 900 on pin number 7 and 8. 7 is the RX while 8 is the TX. I defined a variable of the type string. This variable will be used to store a message that we will be sending to multiple numbers. Integer data is equal to 0. This variable will be used to store the value coming from the LDR. Integer sensor equals A1. LDR is connected with the analog pin A1 of the Arduino. Then I defined two variables of the type string for storing the cell numbers to which we will be sending a message. You can define many numbers as per your requirement. As you know my friends, every Arduino and Mega program has at least two functions which are the write setup and write loop functions. Write means that these functions are not returning any value while the empty parentheses means that these functions are not taking any arguments as the input. Serial dot begin 9600. Activates the serial communication and 9600 is the bar trade. As I said, this will be used only for the debugging purposes. Then we activate the serial communication with the SIM900A module using bar trade of 9600. Then starts the wide loop function. Data is equal to analog read sensor. Read the LDR and store the value in variable data and then using the serial.println function we send this value to the serial monitor to check how the value of the LDR changes as the light intensity changes. This helps us in defining the predefined value. Then using the F condition we check if the light falling on the LDR is changed. Send SMS text for SMS comma F1001. Send SMS is a user defined function and it takes two arguments as the input. Both the inputs are of the type string. This variable stores the message that we want to send and this variable stores the number to which we want to send this message. Then we wait for 5 seconds. Instead of using the variable you can also directly type any message over here and again we use a delay of 5 seconds. As I said earlier, send SMS is a user defined function and it takes two arguments as the input, the message and the cell number. Then the rest of the coding is exactly the same as explained in my previous JSON based tutorials. This program can be downloaded from my website. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.